Welcome to automation. So yeah, this will be a new Let's Play series, which we'll be releasing every Friday and thus replacing City Skylines on Fridays at least. So yeah, the game is about, uh, yeah, well, it says it right here, the car company Tycoon game. I don't know too much about this game actually. I have like not played it at all yet, so we are going to look into it right now. So we have tutorials, challenges and sandbox, so it's still by the way in development so yeah we don't have like any campaigns yet in this version right here but we are going to check out tutorials first and kind of look what the game is all about because I don't really know too much about it yet okay we have a YouTube video here that seems to be everything okay so let me look at two challenges maybe next Okay. So yeah, we can check out engine scenarios, car scenarios, you can create some, we can engine scenario generator, okay. Let me maybe start with uh, you to knock, try lowering the compression and ignition and ignition timing, okay. So then here we can also do quite some different things oh yeah here we do also have some few car stats okay is that our engine or what is that doesn't look like it's a lot okay So we have to do something about, okay, try lowering the compression and ignition timing. So let me see what we can, how we can do that. So many buttons in here, it's crazy. Yeah, here we could potentially change something. Try lowering the compression ignition timing. Okay, we can lower compression here a bit. Oh, we already completed it. Okay. That wasn't too hard. I mean, the UI definitely takes uh, a bit of getting used to. Yeah, let's see how things turn out. So here we have some things green and red and yellow and light green. So we have multiple warnings. Okay, so now we can also change more stuff in here because, yeah, well, we shouldn't change stuff that we don't have to change anyways, probably. Let's start with the first thing. The engine suffers from valve float, reducing its reliability. Consider reducing the RPM limit. RPM limit. I have no idea where that is. Here she is. RPM limit, higher RPM limit, better power, potentially, lower, better reliability, reduced wall float. Yes, we should uh, change that a bit, probably. And that's now pretty much gone. Maybe we can... Right now we are at... Uh, we can go probably quite a bit higher. Okay, so this seems to be too high. 7400 seems to be fine. Okay, the pistons are experiencing high levels of RPM stress, considering lowering the RPM limit to improve the pistons. Okay, so our pistons are still uh, yeah, on stress. I mean, 6,800 RPM is also pretty high. Okay, so we also finish that. I mean right now it seems to be a little bit of the a little bit easy but uh because we basically just have to change like one value but uh we have to see how hard this this gets. Okay. 
again wall float but this time it seems to be a, a little bit on the more extreme side so yeah 12,000 rpm is definitely too high oh yeah we can also see how that like changes stuff in, in real time here So now we are experiencing a little bit of wolf float, which we don't want. So 5,500 seems to be adequate. The engine is knocking, reducing engine performance, considering lowering the compression or ignition timing. Okay, compression was over here. We can't change that, so we probably have to change the ignition timing. Wherever that is. Definitely not here. Ignition. Damn, that's so many cool stats everywhere. I mean, I'm not much of a car guy myself, so I don't know too much about all of that stuff, but uh, still interesting clicking a bit around nonetheless. Ignition timing would be here. Retarded? Advanced, okay. Yeah, but we can't... Uh, I mean, yellow is a consider. So we probably wouldn't have to do that. Yeah, can we still do... Oh, we Testing. I mean, I don't see anything on here. Okay. Yeah, but we are still we're probably not done with this thing, so... Oh, we just changed something here. Had that valve, so we probably changed uh, it to different... To different one here. Engine, no warnings during testing, engine performance index should be higher, so we need a higher performance index on our engine. I mean, looking at this, oh, so going for the, this down here seems to be the better one, but that is uh, more expensive, so let's go with the medium one, and now we can maybe, yeah, now we can push up the RPM a little bit. Yeah, we're still not high enough though, so we have to go for the highest one probably yeah we're still not, uh, not uh, quite there yet so we don't have any warnings <coughs> but we still don't have enough uh, performance so somehow we have to get uh, a bit more performance out of this thing Huh. So how would could we uh, do that? Uh, oh, here's also something two and uh, two versus four. Ah, okay. So uh, that seemed to improve something. So let's get back to the scenario list. Uh, what I will, yeah. So these were basically just uh, playing around with the engine. So let me also look into the car scenarios, maybe. What we have here. Car tutorials. Car tutorials, okay. I mean, do we have more? Yeah, I mean, basically almost anything. Here's a tutorial. 
Yeah, so let me look into, into the car thing. Okay. Tutorial E1, City 2003. I just want to also check into that. Okay. Oh, well, we do have quite some things over here. Uh, Scott's dead, 60% echo, blah, blah, blah. Oh wow, that's even more stuff. I think I will uh, go back here and maybe do more with the engine stuff so we can have at least the uh, tutorial finished or something in this episode. Okay, so we do have quite a few problems here. So, yeah. We should uh, very likely just limit or turn down the RPM limit again a bit. I mean, we are just 6,000 here, but we are still having light, uh, like uh, tons of problems here. So we do need a better pistons, that's for sure. Heavy duty cast or forged? That's not a big question. Engine, no special manufacturing requirements. Quest Forge works, yeah, but that's what all of them does do. Yeah, no matter what pistons I choose, it's always the same, basically. Okay. Yeah, let me go with the medium ones for now. We also need some better con rods, okay. That seems to be cool, but we also, yeah, let's go for the best pistons here. Cast iron versus forged steel flat plane. Yeah, on the crank, the crank is at 2%, uh, what well, is probably stress. So now that would all be done, but engine, no special manufacturing requirements. I have no idea what I should do about that. Okay. Intakes airflow in a restriction caused by the intake and exhaust, but we can't do a lot about all of that, okay. Yeah, special manufacturing requirements, so probably we do need something special about something here. Maybe it's like this requires uh, forge works. Okay. Oh, so now we, yeah. Okay. That was definitely the, the thing. But now we have uh, problems with our pistons and stuff again. And the con rods. Okay, so we just had to lower that a little bit. Okay. I mean, I was kind of totally overwhelmed at first, but now I have the feeling that I can that I'm, uh, yeah, getting into the UI here a little bit at least. So now we just have to get no engine warnings. The engine engine is running too rich, reducing engine performance. Consider running a leaner fuel mixture. Fuel mixture compression. 
uh, and a question mark which doesn't do anything okay higher compression more power better fuel economy potentially better fuel efficiency lower compression much lower octane Okay, but that's not another thing that we are reducing. Consider running a leaner fuel mixture. Has this to do something with fuel mixture? I have no idea. Fuel system, yeah, that's probably the thing. Okay, richer fuel mixture, more power to a point, lower octane, better throttle response. And a leaner fuel mixture, potentially much better fuel economy and lower emissions. Yeah, that sounds like something we should get into the uh, leaner thing okay so we are definitely getting there i'm not sure like where the point is so here it seems to be at 12.3 okay the engine is knocking, so yeah, we sh yeah. should do something about the, uh, wherever that is, uh, about the compression or ignition timing. Oh yeah, here it is. Da. Okay, so that's now getting into the better territory. All right. So we also completed that one. So let's get to the uh, last A section tutorial. And with that also led to the last uh, kind of thing for, for this episode. Okay, engine, no special manufacturing requirements and no warnings during testing. Oof, intake valves, headers. Okay, so we have to do anything in here, okay. So, what all of this changes, I have no idea. A4 cylinder box or A6? Six cylinder definitely sounds a little bit better. Block material, okay. Prestige, okay, yeah. So that's uh, pretty much the same everywhere. Yeah, let's go for the best one, obviously. Okay, now we can change uh, the head and valves. So let's get the best ones here. Five of them. Head material. So let me just uh, take RLSI again. Probably like aluminium, silicon, something. I have no idea. I mean that it's all in English doesn't make it a lot better for me. Okay, so what can we do around here? I mean, no matter what we did until now, nothing really changed anything of that. Airflow restriction caused by the intake. Intake. Now oh, we can now change over to here okay crank yeah let's get a require cnc shop no we can't take that one and here we have to choose one that also has no special requirements okay so the heavy duty cast would be the best one for the conrods so we're basically currently i think building like uh, the engine and choosing all the parts from scratch in this tutorial okay so we can go for a low friction cast because why not quality uh let's go for the best quality we can damn it vvt intake yeah let's just choose the best one yeah well best quality why not
Okay. I'll just leave these things as stock as they are. You can choose like a turbocharger, for instance, which makes everything even worse. Ball bearing, journal bearing, okay. Intercooler. Presets, race, cost performance, fuel economy. Let's just take performance here. Fuel system. Carburetor. I have no idea what that is. Or injection. Let's just take uh, injection. Mechanic. Fuel direct. Yeah, direct injection sounds sounds good to me. Um, yeah, airflow. That seems to be a bit important. So let's just take per cylinder here. Okay, race uh, doesn't have that much reliability. So let's just choose performance here. Fuel type. Yeah, let's just take premium. And we'll leave these things here stock as well. Add a shortcast. Single the rule, why not? Bypass valves. Nah, don't need that, I think. Catalytic uh, converter. So we want to have probably a uh, one with pretty high airflow. High flow three way. And a muffler. Yeah, let's just take none because that definitely has the best airflow. As well as for the second one. Okay. So now we are we're getting there. Okay, so intercooler. Yeah, we have some of the things down here. The piston experiences uh, a high torque load. Consider using stronger pistons or lowering engine output. We could uh, definitely... Yeah, I mean, if we go down with uh, the... RPM limit that maybe changes something. Oh, yeah Now our car is not powerful, but uh, It was cheap or something. I don't know Okay, so that seems to be uh, like the first bit of automation I'm not really sure where all of this uh, leads to if we go Back and we have a, a sandbox here as well, so we can probably like really build a, build a car from scratch here. So yeah, let me know what you think of the game. Uh, yeah, we will definitely check out a, a bit more of it. Uh, yeah, so let's just see you at the next one. Have a great time. See ya then. Bye bye.